Hey everybody, I want to do a deep dive on all of the buffering that goes on inside a Seraport JSON server and Chili Pepper to get your G code successfully over to your CNC controller. So um, a, a user of the community uh, the other day sent me this file. It's an F engrave file. Uh, it's got uh, 25,000 lines, so it's a it's a decent size file. It probably takes about an hour and a half to two hours to run it at normal speed, but I'm going to run it at 100x on the feed rate. Um, just to kind of show you what's going on now I'm gonna hit play and it is gonna initially upload 10,000 lines so you're gonna see this buffer jump from 0 to 10,000 and then it's gonna go uh, and keep uploading the rest of it uh, every two seconds there we go so we are at I know it's hard to read that we're at 10,168 on the uh, here, I'll highlight that for you. Uh, 10,557. Now, just to sl um, because I'm doing a lot of CPU, I'm going to pause the serial port console. That's a new button that was added recently just to kind of reduce the amount of work that your browser is doing to update the DOM. Uh, and I'm going to turn off the uh, look at toolhead. Uh, I actually prefer looking at the toolhead while I'm running a job, but for the high speed I'm running at here, it's not necessarily appropriate. Um, so, Keep in mind that we've got about 6,400 lines left to buffer. We have around 14,000 left at the serial port JSON server. They're getting consumed really quickly because of how fast this is running. The feed rate's at 4,000. Um, and pretty soon we'll be done buffering these. And when it's done buffering, you will see a little, um, you'll see a little flash message pop up. So here we go. We should get one any second now because we're down uh, to, you know, four. Here we go. So we're at zero. You'll see the flash message, done buffering G code. That's good. That means everything is up there. Uh, this technically means if we closed the browser down or disconnected from serial port JSON server, we're fine. The job is all uploaded in memory on the server and uh, nothing really matters. Um, in fact, you know, maybe just for the heck of it. I am going to disconnect and reconnect. And no problem, nothing to it. We didn't lose anything because all of that G code had already been buffered. And we are getting back these responses when uh, lines are queued, written, and completed to update the UI anyway. We're also getting back buffer uh, data, the planner buffer. Now, typically you want this planner buffer way down there around three or four, but because we're running in simulation mode, um, we are chewing through lines of G-code so fast that Seraport JSON server is running like mad to feed that data in. Uh, and keep in mind, Seraport JSON server only talks to the um, tiny G at 115,000 uh, baud which is probably the bigger bottleneck because support JSON server is compiled code. It is uh, really high speed. It's it's multi-threaded, um, and uh, you know it it it's probably the fastest you could ever get it to run. We're actually almost done running this whole job. We're only three minutes into it, uh, and we're almost done processing the 24,000 lines of G code. Sorry, I'm trying to get this little dialog to go away. And we are just about coming up to the finish line. Notice that we're down to, yep, we're down at zero. The buffers is back and all the check boxes are complete. So beautiful run, three minutes, 19 seconds for what is otherwise an hour and a half long job. What's important is that every single line of G code got successfully processed. Um, this is part of the testing I've been doing because there, there were a couple of reports out there that occasionally serial port JSON server would just pause on its own. And um, I did some work on the tiny G buffer, and Jarrett Luft did some work on the Gerbil buffer <clears throat> to make sure that things were really clean. Um, and we think we, we sort of solved maybe some of the uh, lock contention that was maybe occurring occasionally with some of the threading. So, you know. I'm not going to take you too deep into that the the GoLang code, but uh, all in all, a, a great run. Things are looking smooth. Um, sending of your G code is pretty much near perfection from the browser. 
to the Seaport JSON server and up to your controller so that we can move on to bigger and better things in uh, the world of Chili Pepper like, um, you know, PCB milling and maybe machine vision, um, you know, maybe more cam support. Maybe we can get things in there like, um, like a time lapse view of your, your job run so you can do some YouTube video uploads, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. But that was just a deep dive on buffering and what it all means and all of the little complexity to it to make your jobs run perfect. All right, enjoy.